What's going on guys? We're back. Another video. It's been a couple weeks since I made a video, so there is a new Stanley Cup champion. In case you didn't know, it is the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, Montreal Canadiens just ran out of steam, but uh, you know, kudos to them for, for doing what they did. We got the Kraken who just announced their team yesterday, so they got the they got the start of that. And, and we'll see where that goes. There were some interesting decisions and perhaps something I'll, I'll make a video on. Um, I think it's worth waiting until after the draft to sort of see see what happens and, and how they pull things together if they make trades or, or what they do with that. But uh, yeah, I got lots going on. I'm heading out to the cabin for a week, so I'm not gonna be making a video for a week. But when I do get back, I do have a PSA sub that is gonna be arriving while I'm gone. So I'm super excited about that. It's 43 card submission. Uh, super stoked so we can see all my grading went with all my, you know, we'll see if if all of the scouting and, you know, pre-grading of the cards went well or not. Um, we'll see, but I've also been buying a lot. So I sold my Ovechkin Young Guns, PSA 10, that is gone. So I've been buying, buying, buying. I've been buying lots of stuff. Not all Young Guns, been buying a lot of other stuff, but I'm definitely gonna show that when I get back as well. So there'll definitely be some videos coming up with, you know, showing the cards and, um, and doing the PSA submission. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I announced last video that I'm doing a a uh, contest or a draw rather for all my subscribers. It's simple guys. All you got to do is subscribe like the video below too, please that that really helps me out a lot, but subscribe up and you'll get in on um, on that contest or that draw and we'll pull a name and it's going to be a group a pack of young guns uh prospects who i'm looking at and you know it's going to be worth a few bucks as i as i said before in the last video it's not going to be like a five or ten or twenty dollar thing like it'll probably be a hundred 150 dollars worth of young guns in there and hopefully a lot more if those guys come to fruition or or you know pan out the way that that i think that that they could but uh Let's take a look at some of the players who I have been watching. All right, guys, so back with some market movers here. So um, if you're looking to use market movers, I have a link down below. You can click it and you get 20% off if you would like to try it out. It's a great tool. I use it all the time. I think the graphs really help to show, um, you know, where a card's been and 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 just gives a visualization of, of um, of the card where it's been ups downs all that good stuff so here's market movers but first guy i have been watching quite a bit and i do have a jack eichel at psa in that submission i'll be getting next week just a regular young gun um is jack eichel you know psa 10 and i've been watching more of the bgs 9.5s um for everyone just because i think if you don't have two three four hundred dollars to spend on a psa 10 and if you're looking to flip it i think a bgs 9.5 is is a really good place to look so certainly opportunities that that i've been watching now getting a price in line with these graphs seems to be a little bit trickier they are lower pops but you need to do a little bit of legwork but I, I think there's definitely opportunity in the in the 9.5s so we can see here jack eichel has actually held his value pretty well it, it sounds like he's sort of getting dialed in with minnesota we'll see what happens that's that's the name and the team that keeps coming up um, but I, I think that people are expecting him to move and I, I think everyone also knows how good of a player Jack Eichel is so we haven't seen exactly what I would call a collapse in his numbers I think his values held up pretty good but needless to say I, I would like to see this go a little bit lower you got 213 here last sale for um, a BGS 9.5 you know down here if you could get it at the well 140 I mean, that's not even too far off. Well, it's off of 213, but you know, I would like to see this come down to at least the, the 175, 160 mark would be nice. Um, if not, we'll see, but regardless, Jack Eichel, one of the guys I'm watching. Next person I'm watching, card's not showing up. Oh, it did pop up, didn't show, show up before. Matthew Barzell. I think a lot of people were expecting a little bit more out of the Islanders in the playoffs, but regardless, Matthew Barzell, great player. I think he's held back by the system a bit. You know, they, they play a defensive structure and, you know, a trappy type of boring game, uh, much like Montreal did through the playoffs. But I, I think that that holds Matt Barzell back. 
a bit it, it doesn't give him you know the transition game that you have in say Colorado um, you know where where everything's transition and moving with speed the defensive responsibility comes first and, and I think that's the only reason you don't see more production from this guy and you can see the same thing he's sort of held relatively steady if we take a look at the last 90 days you know he's he's up marginally but it, it's floated in this range here of say the uh, you know 225 uh, a little bit higher and a little bit lower but Matt Barzell definitely watching that price and they didn't have the BGS 9.5 here but with the PSA 10 at 225 if I can pick up his BGS 9.5 at a good price say the well I don't even know say the hundred dollar mark 120 dollar mark I think that that would be a great buy so watch for those Barzell 9.5s um, if that's someone who interests you remember guys I'm not telling you who to buy these are cards that I'm watching and price matters so if, if I find that the price is right if I can spot an opportunity that's when I'm going to pull the trigger um, Sebastian Ajo, I'm, I'm just really high on this team on Carolina in the future, you know, looked really good these playoffs, they they got the pieces there with, um, you know, Nekash and Ajo and, and Svechnikov and, and they dealt Nedeljkovic left today, which was a little bit surprising to me, but um, I digress. Anyways, definitely watching Ajo, but again, same thing, guys. His values held pretty well. This is through the playoffs here, so this goes back to May, and then this is the dump off after the playoffs, so not sure how much lower this will go, um, but another card that I'm watching, a veteran. I, I don't talk too much about you know vet vet like this is an older vet like a guy who's i call guys who are 24 like you know gray hairs um when i'm looking to prospect but you know jonathan huberdo had a great season i i also really like you know that florida is getting it together i think that they have they're gonna have a lot of opportunity over the next two to three years and you know here's a perfect opportunity like this someone got a bgs 9.5 at 61 dollars like that's that's criminal for for jonathan huberdo that's you know you're gonna make 100 percent on that card uh come come puck drop uh no problem so if you can get those bgs 9.5 certainly a card that that i'm interested in and am watching haven't found one haven't pulled the trigger um and his psa 10 down at 160 dollars with a peak you know up here at 250 one sale out here at 280 280 250 um yeah, but I'm, I'm certainly watching this 9.5. I think, you know, when you're at about the $100 mark, it's an investment that, you know, uh, more people um, are able to make than, say, a two, three, four hundred $400 investment. So I'm certainly watching this this Huberto 9.5. And the last one I'm really watching, and I've bought a few of these cards that I'll show um, in one of my upcoming videos. I've bought a bunch of Mitch Marners, not Young Guns, uh, a different rookie cards. Um, and, and I'll show those and talk about those, but for now i'm i'm definitely still watching the young guns we got his bgs 9.5 here down at 222 dollars so that goes back to lower than it was in january that goes back to almost uh yeah almost december's pricing not that low when it was down at 135 but this 9.5 here is a nice opportunity and then you have his psa 10 up at 496 dollars and mitch marner to me um, you know, you, you have Marner and Matthews over there who, who are the two big ones. Mitch Marner over the last three years, if we take a look, had 228 points. He was he's eighth in the league over the last three seasons. And who's right in front of him? Jonathan Huberto, the other guy I'm watching. Um, and then you have Austin Matthews down here at 11th. So Mitch Marner's outperformed Austin Matthews. And, and I think just a really stable uh, player I'm I really wonder if Matthews is going to be able to score at the same rate that he did this year once he gets you know playing against the other what is it 31 teams now other 31 teams this year so Mitch Marner certainly a guy who I'm I'm watching to to pick up and I I think could be a great opportunity so with that guys hit that subscribe button and get in on the contest. We'll do the draw. I'm going to do that around September. Um, follow me on Instagram. I've showed some of the cards that I picked up. Lapper flips. LAPP3R30 underscore flips. But later.